Greater Los Angeles, I'm Crystal Fisher and welcome to Tinsel Talk. Hollywood celebrities and hot cars are getting together for a good cause. I got to talk to the stars about a rally for kids with cancer. Stars and cars hit the red carpet on the Miracle Mile. Actress Eva Longoria Parker is one of two dozen celebrities who are taking part in the Rally for Kids with Cancer Cup. The Rally for Kids with Cancer is a really fun event. It really puts the fun back in fundraising and uh, it's basically a big fun scavenger hunt. Anybody who knows me will tell you how competitive I am. So I've already on Twitter been raising money for the event. The stars will begin the scavenger hunt in the race in about three weeks. For Tinsel Talk, I'm Crystal Fisher. The USIPO market is continuing to gain momentum, according to a report released by PricewaterhouseCoopers, a global accounting firm. They say that USIPO activity has nearly tripled since the same quarter of last year. About 20% of the travelers are international. They come here for all that New York has to offer, including Broadway, which this year alone has sold more than 6 million tickets a 3.7% increase since the same period last year. I'm here in Beverly Hills at the 35th Annual Gracie Awards. Take a look behind me. Photographers and reporters are going wild as the beautiful women arrive. What does Susie Orman, Candy Spelling, and Jessica Simpson have in common? Aside from fame and fortune, these women are all taking home awards at the Gracie's. To be honored by women for being a positive role model, I couldn't ask for a better a better award. The Gracie Awards, given out by the Alliance for Women in Media, recognizes leading ladies in print, film, television, and radio. It's honoring works by, for, and about women. The award show had all of the glamour and excitement of any Hollywood gala. I am just representing all of my other women colleagues who work so hard every day, often without recognition. Now this award is so complex, organizers say they're already planning for next year before the awards have already wrapped. From Beverly Hills, I'm Crystal Fisher. The spies appear to be living the all-American dream in neighborhoods like this in Montclair, New Jersey. That was the home of Richard and Cynthia Murphy. Cynthia held an upscale job in a bank in New York City, and both of their children were enrolled in public schools. So the night the caravan of unmarked cars came to arrest them, neighbors say the experience was surreal. Coming up next, a murder mystery in East L.A. Plus, dozens of gang members are headed to jail. Those stories and more next on Newswatch. A shooting in East Los Angeles is our top story tonight. It started when a man threatened to kill his wife around 9 o'clock last night. The man surrendered around 4.30 this morning without incident. A massive gang roundup is being called a major success. Deputies pulled out the heavy gear to find and arrest suspected gang members with outstanding warrants. That's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching this News Watch News Break. I'm Crystal Fisher.